This week, the House passed the Crown Act. It makes hair discrimination illegal. The bill will now move to the Senate. As the debate continues in D.C., KCTV5's Abby Dodge shows us the work being done at the local level here in KC. Black men and women say they face discrimination based on their hair to this day. You've seen the videos of black athletes having to cut their locks and children kicked out of school. Now local groups are hoping focusing here at the city level will spark some change. Sade Shears is a hairstylist in Kansas City. The pandemic forced her to get creative to generate an income while salons were closed. So she created a clothing line. Um, I feel like it has generated some discussion, some talk. Be true to yourself. Um, don't be af afraid to wear the crown you were born with. Focused on her clients, Sade wants to promote the acceptance of natural hair. It's opening up more conversation and it's allowing people to understand the differences that we do um, bring to the world. Michelle Watley so is the founder of Shirley's Kitchen Cabinet, focused on advocating for the rights of black women. The day that um, black women can walk into a workplace or go to school or be on TV or do all of the things that everyone else seems to do without issue, um, when they can have that opportunity too, then that's, that's when we've won the battle. Their current battle is at City Hall. With support from a few council members, the group is hoping to pass a local ordinance similar to the Crown Act. So starting closer to home, so to speak, where the issues are more prevalent and where we have a more direct connection with the uh, governmental leaders that we've elected and we work with on a regular basis only makes sense. A local ACLU legislative associate says the moment we're in right now is conducive to making these changes. It's nice to be able to see that our, our, our um, you know, people are being protected and heard and being displayed in public proudly, but it's another thing to actually pass things to protect those people and that will affect their livelihood as well. For years, Chardet has worked with clients who've been told their hair isn't fit for the workplace, school, or society. Our hair is something that is going to be important and always going to be here and it's not going anywhere. The ordinance isn't in writing yet, but if you want to get involved, we have a link on our website, kctv5.com, to all of the work that Shirley's Kitchen Cabinet is doing. In Kansas City, Abby Dodge, KCTV5 News.